Hey, what up, YouTube? We bike for another video. These are now substitutes for our for our episodes, so we dropping videos now. So, hopefully, y'all follow, like, and subscribe our videos. If you're feeling what we're talking about, uh, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it going. You know what I mean? This is gonna be like our new season. It's gonna be our YouTube videos. Me and Al gonna be rotating and dropping videos. So. Hopefully y'all tune in, like, and subscribe, and um, we'll get the ball rolling. We'll keep it rolling. All right, so I want to discuss today um, was the Dave Chappelle comedy special. And um, as you guys know right now, um, and, you know, Dave has been pretty outspoken about the LGBTQ community. Uh, he's been embroiled with um, turmoil with that community, you know, going back to his first special with Netflix. And um, I think that he's received a lot of backlash from that community, and um, now they're calling him to be canceled after this latest um, special, which I think is is kind of crazy. And um, I was a little bothered by it um, because I really think that you know their group thinks that their oppression, if you want to call it that, is um, supersedes anybody else's. You know they're hypersensitive when it comes to to their group you know what I mean which is commendable I think black people need to take a page out of the LGBT community's book you know and um, really flex our power you know um, because I think we let a lot of things roll off our back and um, you know we shouldn't take it too lightly you know they they've expressed their disdain for Dave Chappelle and um, you know what he's speaking about with his jokes you know bring it to the forefront and um for me, I'm like, yo, for the dude to be canceled, you're going a little overboard. Y'all might be a little sensitive, you know, to the the rhetoric that he speaks, but they're jokes. That's what he does. He's a comedian. That's what he does professionally. I mean, you should be able to you should be able to really compartmentalize what he's saying. You know, he makes jokes about the black community all the time. You know, you don't we don't see no, you know, cancellation of Dave Chappelle. You know, it's crazy, you know, to take a man's whole livelihood away from him because you feel that he touched a nerve, you know what I'm saying, in your community. You know, it's it, the real outpouring coming from that community is kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? And we're talking about jokes. We ain't talking about death. We're talking about jokes, nigga. In 10 years, I'm talking about 10 days, nigga. 10 days. <laughs> nah, a little inside joke. But, no, nah, in all seriousness, um, I just think that, um, to take it a step further and try to get the man's canceled, you know, take the man's livelihood is is out of bounds, man. I mean, y'all y'all can always express y'all opinions. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is really ostracizing your group. You know, we we understand the plight as us as African Americans. We understand more than anybody. And like I said, we've dealt with a lot of deaths, not just jokes. You know, so for us to really be able to, you know, minimize you know, the actual, um, the jokes, I think, you know, any community should, but, um, to try to get them canceled, that's, that's way out of bounds, like, but they found out real quick, they found out real quick how powerful Dave Chappelle is, you know you're not fucked up, right, <laughs> how are you gonna cancel a nigga that walked away from 50 million dollars, I mean, really, I mean, you definitely tried it, and, you know, you push Netflix, you push the, you force their hand, and, um, you know, they went back into the tent, they reviewed the play, they said, after further review, the ruling on the field stands. He's not canceled. <laughs> Nigga, we see the numbers, yo, we see what he represents, and this is a business at the end of the day, y'all just gonna have to get out y'all feelings and move on. I think that's all it comes down to, you know. Um, that's just taking it way too far, trying to cancel the man. I mean, you know, just imagine, you know, back in the day, like comedians like Bernie Mac, you know, they 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 made light of this stuff all the time. You know, you, know, you want some milk and cookies. He wants some milk and cookies. Can you imagine that joke today? You know, they'll be trying to cancel Bernie Mac like tomorrow I mean it's crazy it's a joke you know what I'm saying 
but one thing I do commend them for is that they stick together, yo. They really do stick together. I mean, as a community, that's what it's all about. As the black community, we need to take notes because that's something that we lack. You know, something that Malcolm X spoke about. You know, we we have a lack of organization and commitment to our own. You know, we would be much more much more far advanced right now if we if we listen to Malcolm X's his words. You know, and we really stuck together. But we always want to ingratiate ingratiate ourselves with the white man. You know, and, and try to rub elbows with the white man, get the best jobs. You know, and alienate our communities. And that's what it comes down to. And we don't stick together. And that's why we don't have the power of, say, like an LGBTQ. Because we don't show any commitment to each other. And I think that at this time, it's critical. You know, especially with a lot of shit that's going on with vaccines and things like that. That's a whole nother subject. But, um... I commend people like Kyrie Irving that's taking a stance right now for what he believes in. You know what I'm saying? Like, the NBA is really trying to cancel him. You know, because he's speaking the truth. And he's living by his truth. You know, he's sticking to his guns. He said, I'll retire before I take that fucking shot. I don't know what's in it. I don't know how my body's going to react today, tomorrow, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. I don't know what's in that vaccine. That's why I have trepidation about it. You know, but... Everybody's stance is their own stance. Take it if you want to take it, but don't try to hold people's feet to the fire and take away their jobs and livelihoods if they don't. You know, everybody's so quick to cancel. We don't want to listen to each other no more. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's so quick to cancel. It's cancel culture. It's getting ridiculous. You know, and um, I think we just got to see the bigger picture. But, you know, big ups to J. Dave Chappelle, Kyrie Irving, all of them standing 10 toes down for what they believe in, you know. You know, you can try to cancel me, but I'm like Teflon. It's going to bounce off. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, I walked away from $50 million. I don't, I don't get canceled. I cancel you. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy we all should have as black people. You know what I mean? That's just the way I think. But I mean, y'all let us know what y'all think. You know, um, how do y'all feel about LGBTQ community trying to cancel Dave Chappelle special on Netflix? You know, do you think that's out of bounds? Do you think they was right, you know, for, you know, the way they feel? You know what I'm saying? Let us know what y'all think and drop a comment below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. You know, this is with the shits. Stay hungry, stay humble, stay with the shits. We're going to have a lot of videos coming. All right, y'all. Peace.